Hello viewers. My name is Denta, your virtual dental assistant. Hope you like our videos. If so, do subscribe to our channel Denta Digest. So, let's jump into the video. Your dentist may recommend that you have antibiotic prophylaxis before your scheduled dental treatment. In case they need this medication, patients need to understand what it means in dentistry. Antibiotic prophylaxis is taking antibiotics prior to any surgery or other procedure that could release large amounts of bacteria into the bloodstream, resulting in bacteremia. Large numbers of bacteria can enter your bloodstream from dental procedures, such as tooth removals. There are some heart conditions that are prone to infections by these bacteria. Patients with prosthetic joint replacement surgeries, such as knee or hip replacements are the most common target population. The bacteria produced during various dental procedures are normally killed by the immune system, but antibiotic prophylaxis can offer additional protection. So, the first question is, who should receive antibiotic prophylaxis? Prosthetic parts are often carried in the body by people. These people are more susceptible to infection from various dental treatments. Usually, there are two population groups who are more susceptible to infection during dental treatments. The first group includes people with heart treatments, such as prosthetic valve replacements. They are more susceptible to infective endocarditis. The second group includes people with prosthetic joint replacements in the region of the knee or hip. So let us talk one by one. First, we will talk about people who had joint replacement surgeries. Should they use antibiotic prophylaxis before dental treatments? The American Dental Association ADA, experts shared their opinions in an article from the Journal of American Dental Association regarding antibiotic prophylaxis for patients with joint replacements. After a thorough examination of the patient and consideration of the risks and benefits of antibiotic use, the dentist and concerned orthopedician should decide whether to prescribe antibiotics or not. In 2015, the ADA clinical guidelines stated that prophylactic antibiotics should not be used prior to any dental procedure to prevent prosthetic joints infection. However, they noted that pre-medication may be necessary for patients with previous medical conditions or complications related to joint replacement surgery. Such patients undergoing surgical dental procedures should consult their orthopedic surgeon before deciding to use antibiotic prophylaxis. The next group of population to consider is the group with prosthetic valve replacement surgeries. People who are at high risk of developing infective endocarditis from oral bacteria are frequently exposed to it during their daily routines, such as flossing and brushing. The American Heart Association AHA, has said that infective endocarditis prophylaxis will continue to be recommended for patients at high risk of adverse outcomes. According to the 2007 American Heart Association guidelines, the following patients should consider antibiotic prophylaxis prior to receiving dental treatment. The recommendations are simplified in this video for your better understanding. Patients with prosthetic cardiac valve should consider using antibiotic prophylaxis. Patients with prosthetic material used to repair their heart valves should consider antibiotic prophylaxis. Patients who have had infective endocarditis Patients with cardiac transplants People with congenital heart diseases Patients with unrepaired cyanotic heart diseases The people listed above should consider using antibiotic prophylaxis before dental procedures. But, are children with heart diseases prone to bacteremia during dental procedures? And, should children take antibiotic prophylaxis? The answer is yes. Children with congenital heart disease are at greater risk of getting infections from dental work. Children with congenital heart problems should be advised to take antibiotic prophylaxis prior to any dental treatment. Children with birth defects that have oxygen levels below normal should consider using antibiotic prophylaxis. Children who have a congenital heart defect who got completely repaired using prosthetic material are more prone for infections from dental treatments. Hence they should consider using antibiotic prophylaxis. Children with congenital heart disease that has been repaired 
might have residual defects such as persistent leaks, or abnormal flow, near or at the prosthetic patch. They are at high risk of developing infections from dental treatments. In such conditions, dentists should take the consent and opinion of the respective pediatrician before any dental procedure, regarding antibiotic prophylaxis. Hope you understood the importance of antibiotic prophylaxis. But, what happens, if the patient is not premedicated with antibiotic prophylaxis? Sometimes, patients forget to take their medication, before they arrive at the appointment. The antibiotic dosage can be given up to two hours after the procedure, if the patient forgets to take it. A patient who has an indication for antibiotic prophylaxis, and who is given antibiotic premedication before a dental procedure, but is scheduled for another dental procedure, the next day, also requires premedication. He or she should have the prophylaxis regimen repeated before the second appointment also. Here is the antibiotic regimen, prescribed by the American Heart Association, in 2008 and 2021. Please note that, the decision to prescribe antibiotic prophylaxis, will be taken by your concerned dentist and cardiac surgeon or orthopedic surgeon. Hence consult your dentist for a clear understanding of antibiotic prophylaxis. It might be a lifesaver to follow the instructions of your dentist before taking any decision. Hope you like this video. If so, do subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for regular notifications. In case of doubt, comment below, so that we will try to answer. If you like us, to make videos on a specific topic, in the field of dentistry, please do comment below. We will be making videos on most viewers demand.